Hey guys, good morning. How are you doing today? In this video, I will show you how to calculate the perfect stocking density for an intensive farming system. Get this right and you will see faster growth, better water quality and a huge boost in profitability. Stick around to learn the exact formula every successful catfish farmer uses. Let's begin with the definition of stocking density in catfish farming. What is stocking density? Stocking density is the exact number of fish placed in a given volume of water. The exact number of fish you place in a given volume of water. And this is usually expressed in fish per cubic meter. The first thing you need to know or do before you arrive at the exact number of fish to be placed in a given volume of water is to determine the dimension of your pond. And if I can say at this juncture that we have basically two types of pond, particularly when it comes to shape, that is often used by fish farmers. It is either a rectangular pond or a circular pond. So for, for this video, we'll be using a rectangular pond for our example. So let's say you have a, a pond that measure five meter long, three meter wide, and 1.2 meter deep. You must know that uh, when you are putting or introducing water into your pond, you don't fill it up to the brim. You allow 0.2. That is a standard. The reason for allowing that is so that your fishes will not be able to jump out because catfish are jumpers. Second reason is that this 0.2 space left is to allow for natural aeration to take place. So we are filling our pond to one meter deep, leaving 0.2. Take note. So to, in order to calculate the volume of this rectangular pond or tank, the formula is length times breadth times depth. So we have five meter as our length. We have three meter as our width. We have one meter as our depth of water. So five times three times one will give us 15 meter cube, 15 meter cube. It then means that that particular pond will be able to carry 15,000 liters of water. Because in every one meter cube of a pond, it will contain 1,000 liters of water. So 15 times 1,000 liters will give us 15,000 liters of water. So now we have identified the volume of water for that particular pond. So it becomes easier for us to determine the number of fish that will reach a kg at the end of four to five months of rearing. So in stocking density, we have standard, which we use to arrive at our exact number of fish to stock in a particular volume of water. So for the volume of water that we have calculated already, which is 15 meter cube, which is equivalent to 15,000 liters of water. So the standard is that for every kg of fish to raise, you will need 10 liters of water. So every one kg of fish require 10 liters of water to survive. So now having understand that you need 10 liters of water for every one kg, the mathematics becomes interesting and simple. So you, you are expected to divide 15,000 by 10 liters. Since the value for one kg is 10 liters, you want to know how many quantity of fish that 15 liters, 15,000 liters will be able to uh, carry comfortably. So 15,000 liters divided by 10 liters will give us 1,500 kg. It then means that uh, in that particular pond, five meter by three meter by one meter depth, you are expected to harvest 1,005 kg of fish at the end of four to five months. 
So now, knowing the quantity, we have identified the weights now. Knowing the quantity of water, of fish, sorry, to stock into your pond is simple. If you want every of your fish to reach one kg at the end of four to five months, it then means that you are to stock in 1,000 fishes. So 1,000 fishes will be purchased for this particular pond size. Anything above 1,000 becomes overstocked. That pond is overstocked. And the effect of overstocking a pond is that your water quality will be depleted faster. And this singular art will lead to high mortality rates, which will eventually lead to a lot of lost. If you have benefited from this video, why not hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment, let us know your challenges on the matters of stocking density and we will give you a solution to your challenges. All we seek for is your progress. We want you to make profits. Thank you and sit tight for more farming tips. Bye.